How do you collect metrics from your microservices deployment? What kinds of tools are you using to monitor these microservices if you have developed those using the Spring Cloud services or any Spring Boot application specific configurations? Let's see what is Micrometer and how is it helpful in terms of monitoring the microservices using the Spring Cloud services. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primus. Micrometer is an instrumentation client which is useful for monitoring our applications which are mostly created using the Java virtual machine. If you are having a JVM which is a microservice you can collect information from that particular JVM using Micrometer. Why Micrometer is so popular because it can support different types of monitoring or instrumentation systems. For example, it can stream data to Atlas or uh, it can stream data to JMX or it can do to Influx or Prometheus or Graphite or any monitoring or time series database. Micrometer creates a facade over your application and it abstracts out the monitoring framework and it can stream the data to those services based on its implementation. So what Micrometer basically does is like a bridge between different frameworks and it creates a bridge between these different frameworks which are currently used by different companies for different purposes. So a typical example would be let's say I create a Spring Boot application with uh, let's say I have 10 microservices all these 10 services will be using micrometer as a library and these will be exposing some rest endpoints for example in spring boot application we by default had an actuator but actuator does a minimal level right so what the actuator does is it just exposes the endpoint if you hit using a rest client you can just get that information and you will have to orchestrate that to hit for every now and then however now with micrometer you can stream the data to the destined framework where you want to push the data for example if you want to um, push data to Prometheus right so you will expose a endpoint and Prometheus will pull this data every now and then and you can even push the data to Atlas or you can expose it via JMX ports where you will be pushing these metrics or ga gauges or even the time series related information and from these tools you can directly monitor these data so how is it different from other uh, frameworks if you are using um, log4j or logback or any other logging framework right you know there is a concept of sl4j so sl4j acts as a interface between different logging frameworks right so you have an interface called sl4j and every other logging framework has implemented the logging interface of sl4j so similar way micrometer is like an interface you can imagine micrometer as a uh, interface and then it can bridge the gap between different frameworks so that is what it is doing it can bridge the gap uh, for collecting information from the microservice by pushing it into different frameworks which can support different types of information for example atlas has a different way of collecting data prometheus has a different way it can also push data in the form of jmx mappings as well so micrometer can behave in so many different ways so if you see this particular example which is mentioned in their website it can do atlas data datadog um, ganglia uh, graphite influx jmx neural lake prometheus signal effects stasd and wavefront so literally your microservice can push data into all these different types just by adding a dependency and then configuring it once that's it so what we will be doing as a part of actuator is in actuators we collect some information and we expose it however using micrometers endpoints these are just injected into the concerned frameworks or applications so for example if you are registering it with prometheus it will try pushing data to prometheus if you are registering it with atlas you will be sending 
metrics information to atlas automatically so that is what happens using the Met micrometers library um, prior to spring boot 2.0 there is a different type of implementation with spring boot uh, because with spring boot 2.0 we are having support for the reactive programming so the way micrometer works has changed a bit so there are two different libraries used by micrometer one for supporting the 1.5x versions and one for supporting the spring boot spring boot 2.0 version if you're using spring boot 2.0 you can go ahead and use the latest version of micrometer but if you are using a older version of spring boot then you will have to use their legacy spring dependency in order to support the metrics collection right so in uh, additional to collecting the metrics about the process as such you can collect metrics about the data which is available inside the process for example let's say you have a cache you can collect metrics about that cache you can collect metrics about a uh, query which you are running in running from that process so you can uh, create measures and uh, gauges and you can ask your microservice to raise an alert and push these alerts to these frameworks automatically so you don't have to write prometheus specific code you just need to create a gauge and then you need to create a, a metrics report and then register it with the micrometer and micrometer will take care of pushing the specific type which prometheus might require or atlas might require so you don't have to know these framework specific implementation because micrometer does that for you so as as it is mentioned here it is like a facade where you just need to push the data in the format of micrometer and micrometer automatically converts that into the corresponding frameworks type so that is what micrometer is so micrometer sometimes internally uses the drop wizard framework in order to talk with some some specific frameworks so in the next video what we will be doing is we will be creating a spring boot application and we will be adding the jar dependencies and i'll show you with both spring boot 1.5 and spring boot 2.0 how is it different and what um, code changes we need to do to our microservice in order to collect information so what i will do is i'll pick up a existing microservice which we had designed some time back and we can add this micrometer dependency and then we will try to see how these metrics are getting collected i uh, hope uh, you guys understood what is a micrometer and how is it used if you are very keen about micrometer go ahead and try out uh, a program with micrometer before i could try and do let me know in the comment section below whether you were able to achieve it or not if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it meet you again in the next video thank you very much